what's up guys once again welcome back to my channel so today we are designing a rectangular duct or the rectangular white duct in the sheet metal format already i make a video of white duct in the pipe format so today we are designing a white duct again but in rectangular format not a circular format so let's start So firstly we need to select the plane, so we are selecting the front plane to create our Y profile. So let me create a Y profile by using our line commands. So generally these ducts are used for uh, steam boilers and the sugar plant boilers which helps us to carry the steam from one compartment to the another compartment. steam flow actually so let me give the dimension to that y duct or the y portion of the duct that is the bottom lines so we are selecting here as 500 mm it looks so small so I am just converting this into the 1000 mm And we, are and we are choosing the duct of 400 mm that is the 400 mm by 500 mm or the let me change here 500 mm so today we are designing a duct of width of 500 mm and the height of 600 mm so this is only the T profile so it will shows 500 only when we are designing its side part then it can show you height of 600 mm so this is a rectangular duct not a, not a square not a square duct that's why the width is 500 and the height is 600 now let me draw the taper lines of the y duct now we choose the angle between that y portion as 135 degree that is also to the 180 line as this is 45 degree and from here that is 45 degree from the zero line so you can say our Y profile is complete only we need to select the 500 mm from the Y portion so let me define the dimensions of that so again we are, we are selecting 1000 mm that is 1 meter Now here we need to draw the line at the topper angular line so we can easily select the Y profile so let me draw the line and make the relation between them as parallel similarly to the right side we can draw the line and make the relation between them also as parallel then give the dimension between that line as 500 mm why we select the 500 mm because our duct width is 500 mm which is equal in any direction you can see here and connect the remaining portions and trim the remaining portions which we not need now we can complete the duct this is complete sheet metal format this is industrial design this is generally used in industry sugar plant so our Y profile is complete now we need to do the exit sketch Exit sketch, then go to the sheet metals, go to the base flange, 
then select the thickness as 5 mm click on ok this is the sheet thickness I already told you this is the heavy type of design or the heavy duct so here we are selecting 5 mm for that now we need to select the side face of the Y so we can easily draw the side duct or the side plate of that duct which comes in 90 degree to that Y profile firstly we need to shift our drawing to the center also which may help us to create our next profile which is the side face of our Y duct now that we can shift this at the any one side that is left, left side or the right side then exit sketch now here we select the plane and click on sketch then simply draw the rectangle by using that points so here we are using the so here we are using the rectangular command rectangle then draw any general line then give the dimensions to that line firstly we need to select the relation between that points So already this is constrained that line only so we need to give the dimension to that line which can constrain to us so let me give the dimensions I already said to you the width of the duct is 500 mm so we are selecting the height of the duct as 600 mm which makes the rectangular to it so here we can exit sketch and go to the base flange then generally see the thickness which is actually outside and click on ok then go to the edge flanges we need to bend our profile up to the Y profile so here we selecting the edge flange now change the edge flange angle so which can help us to get the direction towards the Y profile so here we can select 45 degree angle yeah this is correct so only we need to drop out the length so add the length there as 100 mm oh I'm sorry that is 1000 mm that is 1 meter similarly draw this to the right side also which helps us to get the another side of the our Y profile so So you can see this is flattened view that's why our design is correct if you hide some part then you can also see the another part flatten this means our drawing is correct now so again we need to follow the same procedures we need to select the face and again convert entity the front side profile which helps us to create a design very simple form 
so here we need to go to the base flange then create a base flange of 5 mm thickness plate and change the direction to the outer side which is very essential click on ok now choose the edge flange option then select the direction and the angle of the tilt is 45 degree and the distance of tilt is 1000 mm that is 1 meter click on ok now we need to create the front profile to complete our duct so we select the so we need to select the back face of the side plates back face of the side plate so we need to select the back face of the side plate and go to the sketch then go to the convert entity click the wire profile and click on ok then go to the base flange and choose the thickness and click on ok only reverse the direction then we need to create the topper profile of the y portion this may completes the y profile so we need to create the rectangular here then simply select the inside point of that y portion topper portion and uh, here inside point also which creates our profile then go to the exit sketch only we need to create the base flange here you can also see the exit sketch go to the base flange then change the reverse direction then click on reverse direction then go to the edge flange here select the edge of the our sheet and go to the edge flange then draw the edge flange as up to the next profile so we can adjust the length as per our profile so we can decrease our length here so we can easily adjust our length so here we are selecting let me do the trial and errors which can fix our duct length so here duct is complete this is the wire duct this is the industrial design which may actually use in industry which may also helps you to study the drawings or the mechanical engineer drawings which is generally used in sugar industry this is the heavy type of design or the heavy type of duct design this is the professional type of design so if you like my video then subscribe my channel and also hit the like button and turn on the notifications to all and since enjoy the video like this so thank you